Hey guys, this video is all about my CD collection. I'm going to be showing you my CD setup, storage, and answering a few questions from the CD Tag 2024. I feel like it's been a while since I made a video about my CD collection and I do want to start making more videos about my CDs, so starting with this video. I don't think I've ever made a video showing my CD equipment and setup, so I think it's finally time to do that now. And also take a part in the CD tag for 2024. I'm going to start by showing you guys my CD setup slash equipment. So this is my CD player. Technically, it's not mine, it's my mom's, but she lets everyone in the house use it. It's kind of like a family CD player. It's by the brand Bose, if you can see that there. My mom's friend gifted this to my mom, so technically, like, we didn't pay for it. It was a gift, so I'm not exactly sure how much this model goes for, but it's probably a couple hundred dollars just because the Bose brand is an expensive brand, and all of these similar models are definitely a couple hundred dollars just doing some research. This looks to be the Bose Wave Music System 3. I just plugged it in so you guys could see it light up. I don't know why the time is set to 6.11. We should probably fix that. I feel like we've had this CD player for like 10 years. It's been in our house for literally so long. So it is kind of old, but it's a really nice CD player. I highly recommend it. If you wanna check it out to see the specs, or if you're interested in purchasing it, I will leave a link in the description to it on Amazon. Here's what the back of the unit looks like. There aren't any buttons, but there are a lot of ports for different things. That's for the power. And then there's a few more over here. I'm not exactly sure what all of these are for. So this one is aux in and headphones. And this does come with a little remote. You know, it's got all the buttons you need. Start, stop, eject, seek, track, volume, all of that. So I'm going to play a CD for you guys. I think I'll play my album Radiance just so I don't get copyrighted. Isn't this so pretty? I I absolutely love how this turned out. If you want to buy the signed CD, I will leave a link in the description. I'll also leave a link to stream the album on SoundCloud. I'm really impressed with the sound quality. Everything sounds so good. It does sound slightly better than vinyl because sometimes you get like the vinyl crackles and the um, surface noise and things like that. But with this, with the CD, obviously it's gonna be crystal clear, really smooth, and I love it. So that was the sound through the actual CD player itself. Everything was coming straight through the CD player. This also does have an aux feature, so you can use it just as a pair of speakers. You can plug in your phone and play music, but it's honestly a really nice quality. I highly recommend the Bose brand. It is pretty expensive, but it is because it's high quality. Similar thing to record players, like the more expensive it is, the higher quality it is. Now I'm going to show you guys how I store my CDs. I think I've showed this before, but this is a shelf in my closet, and as you can see, it actually perfectly fits my CDs. It was meant to be, I guess. This was made as a shoe shelf, but I don't obviously put my shoes in here. This shelf is almost full, but I am able to keep all of my CDs in it. So I obviously don't have a ton of CDs. I will do a count, and I'll put it up on the screen. I'll just do like a quick rundown of the shelf. And this is in alphabetical order. So it starts over here with Five Seconds of Summer and all of their albums. So it's alphabetically by artist. And then I have Area 21 with A, the band Camino, and then it goes down. The last artist I have at the end is Z because, you know, Z, Z is Z. And then I've got a few random mixes at the end too. I should probably also mention that it's alphabetically by artist name. I don't know how well you can see it, but for example, um, Martin Garrix is there, so I file Martin Garrix under M for Martin, not G for Garrix, and then Niall Horan would be after Martin Garrix. Just because I use the artist's first name instead of going by their last name, it's just easier for me to find my CDs like that. 
I do have some of my special CDs on display. This was a signed booklet from Five Seconds of Summer, so it does have the CD booklet in the frame. I have a few of those around my room, so there's Ashton. I have a Calvin Harris one right here, and under it I do have the band Camino signature, so I do like to display my signed CD booklets around my room. I also have a signed Niall Horan art card. This came from his most recent album called The Show. He did signed CDs, so that's where this signed Polaroid came from. So to end off the video, I did want to take part in the CD tag for 2024. I did the vinyl tag for 2024, so I also wanted to do the CD tag. I'm going to be answering the prompts created by DJ Trish. Although I am only going to be answering five of her questions in this video, I just decided to pick my favorite questions from her, the five questions that mostly apply to my CDs. Question number one is new music you discovered on CD. For this one, I'm going to show a bunch of CDs by Julian Jumpin Perez. Just for some context, I do live in the Chicagoland area and Julian Jumpin Perez is a very popular Chicago DJ or at least he was a few decades ago like my parents do recognize his name and how I discovered Julian Jumpin Perez is because one of my subscribers who was also from the Chicagoland area his name is DJ Vinyl Junkie he sent me a whole collection of Julian Jumpin Perez CDs he's been sending me music a bunch of vinyl and CDs and a lot of it is Chicago based so I think that's really cool house music originated in Chicago and I mostly listen to house music music so it's really cool to have that Chicago music on CD and with Julian Jumpin Perez I like a lot of his radio mixes and things like that. These are called Back to WBMX 102.7 FM so this one is the volume 1 anniversary edition. I also have volume 2, volume 3, and volume four. These are really long too. You can see that track list is really big. So again, it's a lot of great music on here. Question number two is a CD release from a fellow YouTuber. This might be stretching the question a little bit, but I do have my CD, Radiance. Radiance came out in 2022, but I got it released on CD in 2023 with the help of DJ Vinyl Junkie. So my album is there on the CD. Um, if you wanna purchase it or stream the album, there will be links in the description to all of that. Figured I would kind of mention it in this question since it is about YouTubers. But also for this question, I do want to shout out DJ Vinyl Junkie himself. This is his mix on CD. I don't think he has a YouTube channel. I don't think he posts videos like that. Although I don't think this is available to the public. I did just want to shout it out because I think it's really good music. So this CD is called Go A Heaven 20th Anniversary Edition. Here is a look at the cover there and the track list is on the back of the CD here. If you are watching this and you are a fellow YouTuber and you do have a CD release, please let me know in the comments. I want to listen. Question number three is a YouTuber who inspired your CD purchases. This happened years ago. It technically did not happen in 2023, but I did want to shout out this YouTuber. So this YouTuber is Alyssa Fouts. She used to make a lot of Fisauce related content, the band Five Seconds of Summer, and in her old room, she did have a display of CDs on the wall. She has a really big CD collection and I really admire it. She had a ton of I saw CDs and EPs, albums, basically every I saw CD release she had, and it really inspired me to one day have those albums on CD. I don't really think I was a CD collector when I first discovered her channel, but I figured that I would one day want to actually collect those CDs. She had a lot of the early I saw albums, Five Seconds of Summer, and Sounds Good Feels Good. She really made me want to get more I saw CDs and go back and get their old CDs from when they first started making music. Question number four is a channel that you should check out. So I picked the channel Brendan Snyder. He has almost 20,000 subscribers and he's very, very passionate about music. I discovered Brendan's channel about a year ago. We both had done videos for this company called Retro Life. We were both reviewing the same record player and I wanted to check out other review videos of the same record player. He does make a lot of CD related videos. He has about 11,000 CDs, which is absolutely insane considering I only have about 100 or so. He has such a massive, and impressive CD collection. He also has lots of CD tips and advice videos. He gives a lot of good advice and I think his videos really do help CD collectors a lot. His music taste is like the complete opposite of mine and even though I can't really relate or I don't even really know a lot of the music that he talks about, I still think he's a really great YouTuber and I do watch a lot of his videos for the CD collection advice. I don't see myself getting thousands and thousands of CDs like him but I do really respect him as a fellow 
fellow CD collector and YouTuber. Question number five, which is my favorite, is my CD want list. My CD want list is definitely not as big as my vinyl want list. At the top of my CD want list is Try Hard by the band Camino. I have this album on vinyl, but I never got it on CD and I kind of regret it because now it's super rare. It's hard to find. I also would really like to get the Miracle CD by Calvin Harris and Ellie Goulding and it is pretty cheap actually, which I'm kind of surprised about. It is a UK exclusive, so I was trying to see if I could get it resale in America. That would definitely be easier with shipping and the price of it overall. I think it would be a cool collector item to have both of their signatures. I already have something signed by Calvin Harris, but to have him sign it with Ellie I think would be really cool and I do like the song. Normally I don't collect singles on CD, but for that one I think it would be cool because it is signed by both of them. I also really would like to get Dylan Francis's albums This Mixtape is Fire and This Mixtape is Fire 2. These are available now, although I think the first album is kind of hard to find on CD. I could get the second one. I'm probably going to get that at some point this year. I do like both of those albums a lot. Really good like club dance music. Something that is also pretty common and I probably will end up getting at some point this year is Dua Lipa's Future Nostalgia bonus albums. She released multiple different versions of this album and I do have the original one on CD but I would also like to get the Moonlight Edition and the Club Future Nostalgia Edition on CD. There's a ton of bonus tracks and remixes on those CDs. I probably won't get them on vinyl just because the vinyl version is really expensive. That was my CD collection, how I store my CDs, what equipment I use to actually play my CDs, and also a few questions from DJ Trish's CD tag for 2024. So I had a lot of fun making this video. In the comments, let me know about your guys' CD collection. You can follow along with the CD tag and answer the same questions that I did, or you could just tell me a little bit about your CD collections. Let me know your equipment, your CD players, your whole setup. Let me know how you store your CDs. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!